Hi Taurus, welcome to your Celtic cross reading. I'm going to be taking a bird's eye look at your life, where your current energy is, where your head's at, what's going on in your subconscious, challenges, outcomes, etc., things like that. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. What does that mean? That means that I could be picking up on somebody else's energy that you are uh, directly linked to energetically or physically. Okay, so keep that in mind. So let's see here. Let's get a theme for your reading. Show me the theme for Taurus's reading please last shuffle loosen your grip coping mechanisms density addiction let god in okay or whatever you believe in all right so needing to kind of chill out a little bit i feel like something's coming in for you but you're trying to hold too tight to it which is pretty torian like anyway so let's go ahead and check out your celtic cross and we'll see how that correlates in the reading later your energy, two of pentacles, making a decision, balancing something. I feel like something may feel easy right now where you want it to be. Page of pentacles uh, for your challenge. You got some type of opportunity coming in. I feel like you're going to have to put in the work. Seven of pentacles, lots of pentacle energy. So you could be very money focused at this time as well as in the present here. In the recent past, you were being pretty patient on making a decision about something. I feel like this is kind of bleeding into the now. Uh, for your future, two of wands. Okay, this is... Earth signs are kind of getting similar reads, I'm not going to lie, and I've used different cards, so that's interesting to me. So in the near future, you got the Two of Wands, this is Mars and Aries, it's like you know what you want, you're ready to go after it. Uh, what's going on in your mind? Three of Cups, hmm, social life, reconciliation, Eight of Wands for what's going on in your subconscious. I, I'm feeling ambition with that, it could be ambition, could be wanting a conversation. And here is this, these coping mechanisms addictions, whatever it is. Now, remember, this doesn't mean that you're a heroin addict, okay? This could represent many things. We can be addicted to sugar. We can be addicted to a negative mind frame. We can be addicted to tarot for a lot of us. I was. I don't know why I was, okay? So let's see here. A person that you're dealing with, two of swords, this is either somebody that's avoiding you, they're avoiding something, or they're trying to keep the peace with you. Knight of swords for your hopes and or fears, wanting to go in uh, towards someone or something. It's like wanting to, I feel, I'm feeling like a winning energy from that, like you're wanting to win in a situation. But there's also something like you want to speak your mind. I don't feel like it's nice. <laughs> okay it could be and with the star here for your outcome i feel like a wish is being fulfilled so let's take a look at this two of pentacles for what's going on in your current energy the ten of pentacles okay damn all right yeah you're you're not an earth sign at all uh four of swords Okay, the page of wands. You're ready to get out there. It's like trying to find your confidence again. You got the five of cups and the emperor here. There could be some type of regret around a boss figure or somebody who is a father figure, a mother figure. This is like basically having sadness or regrets around somebody uh, that is very authoritative. Uh, somebody who commands respect or somebody who runs their own ship or whatever it is here. Somebody could have abused their power in the past or tried to control you or maybe you did that all right take it as it resonates with that two of pentacles ten of pentacles four of swords page of wands it's almost like this rest this rest that you feel like you're taking before going on some type of journey because it's like you're trying to figure out what the easiest path is to get to where you're going so i don't know if this is like a dream that you have a person that you want to go after or a goal something like that i feel like it's maybe a goal Page of Pentacles for your challenge. Tell me about this. So that's you. The Emperor again. Okay. Why does it feel like this is a video game? Fuck the tower. The Five of Swords. All right. You got to learn your way around the maze here. So this person from the past here, I feel is going to come back in the future. It's somebody who's kind of bringing some type of um, destruction in your life or they're being very manipulative. They're trying to, I don't know, it almost feels like they're trying to test you or something like this. And I feel like you're going to have to try to figure out how to maneuver like bob and weave. It almost feels like you're in a metaphorical boxing ring and it's like you're learning how to swing. It's kind of weird. 
I don't want to say it's weird, but so you got the seven of pentacles here, which is showing up in the past. So this may be around the past here. This is you needing to stand in your conviction and make the right decisions and be patient with yourself. So let's take a look at the seven of pentacles in the recent past. The three of swords. Someone or something that you were dedicated to or very invested in, spent a lot of time with, broke your heart in some way. Maybe you broke theirs, whatever it is. It made you feel stuck. For some of you, you felt fucking bullied. And, okay, and you uh, were having trouble moving on from whatever this is. I feel like eventually you attempted to let go of control, but I feel like you're, even now, you may still be holding on to it a little bit, but I'm seeing healing here. So I feel like you're way better in a way better position than you were before. With that judgment... And that four of pentacles here, this could be uh, you holding back from a reconciliation. I remember this is the past. You could have been holding back from making a decision or holding back from reconciling with somebody because you thought it was a bad judgment call. Three of cups for what's going on in your minds. Seven of swords. Meh. This could be you avoiding reconciliation again or avoiding giving to some type of situation here. I think that you're still giving to something energetically. There's that Eight of Wands, which is also showing up in your subconscious. This could just be about your social life, as it were. With that High Priestess and that Two of Swords, this is like you and you, you're, I don't want to say you're in your head, but you're thinking about This is like you avoiding a person or avoid avoiding people. But there's something on your mind here that you're wanting to talk about. And I don't know what it is. But with that high priestess and that two of swords, it's almost like your intuition is telling you not to. This is like really being pressed about something. I don't want to say that you're pressed, but it's like you're kind of, you're a little pressed about some type of conversation that you want to have with somebody, but you're having a hard time because your intuition is kind of telling you, nah, dog. You know what I mean? You got the two of wands for what's going on in your near future. The moon. Uh, you don't know what decision to make here. The star, which is showing up in your outcome. The moon, the star. Wow, the magician. What's the moon? Oh, here it is. I don't even need to look. Ace of swords, nine of swords. You don't know what the truth is. You know what your truth is, but you don't know what the external truth is, whatever that means for you. And you're having a hard time making a decision. It's like this sense of, I know what I want, but how do I get it? I know what I want, but I'm afraid to take that leap. I know what I want, but do I really believe in this? Do I believe in myself? Do I believe in my internal truth on a soul level? There's the Empress. You do. But you got to figure out a way to kind of push through. This is Mars and Aries. This is like going head in. This is going head in. This is fucking going for something. But this is like kind of needing to cross that bridge or cross that river or cross that ocean in order to get to the other side, in order to get what it is that you've been manifesting. But you're in your head about it. Eight of Wands for what's going on in your subconscious. Page of Pentacles again, which is showing up in your challenge. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, you want to say something. There's a truth that you want to tell. There's a truth that you want to speak. Um, but I feel like with that Knight of Pentacles and that Seven of Cups, it's like you don't know how to get to it. It's almost like you feel like something is an illusion or the moon, the Seven of Cups. It's very like smoke and mirrors. And I feel like you're not really sure how to get there. But I mean, in your heart of hearts, Taurus, with that Eight of Wands, a Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, you have the ambition. You you have the ambition. I mean, you got the Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. This is not somebody who's an underachiever. This is somebody who goes after what they want. No questions asked. And I feel like with that Ace of Swords, maybe you feel like you need more clarity in a situation. But sometimes you just got to, you know, run in the thick of it without having any fucking idea, really. Okay. So you got the devil for uh, your advice. The judgment. Oops. I'm gonna shuffle. 
Knight of Swords, which is in your hopes and or fears. Knight of Cups and the um, Four of Pentacles. Devil, Judgment, Six of Wands, Knight of Swords. Give me one more for that devil. The High Priestess. All right. There's something here. Um, like it's telling you to loosen your grip here, right? I feel like it's around fear more than anything is where it feels like that grip is coming from. Because with that two of wands to the moon, uh, the the devil, and then you got the six of wands on the other side of it with the high priestess clarifying the devil. It's almost like this fear, the fear of the unknown. Fear of, well, I don't know, I don't know what the right decision is. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You do know what the right decision is. It's right here in your subconscious. You just don't want to access it or you're not, well, I don't want to say you don't want to, but you're not accessing it because you're too in your head about the situation. You're trying to avoid something. Really listen to your intuition. Because there's a fear of the unknown, but I feel like on the other side, you just make that judgment call. You follow what your true path is and you're going to have some type of success here. You're going to be met with success here. And that's what you genuinely want. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords here. For some of you, you're afraid to be vulnerable or you, you feel like this will put you in a vulnerable state. Two of Swords for somebody that you're dealing with. The Chariot in Reverse. Okay. Cancerian Energy. The Hangman. Piscean Energy. This person has a fear of the unknown. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. This could be somebody that you're dealing with on a family level or an emotional level, romantic or otherwise. This is somebody that wants to come towards you because they're either in love with you or they have uh, strong feelings for you. Okay, Maybe they just want a connection altogether. But with that Two of Swords, the Chariot in Reverse, the Hangman, the Four of Pentacles, this person feels like they'll have to sacrifice something if they come towards you. So more so... They're holding back because they also fear the unknown. They're avoiding going towards you because they're afraid. This person lacks a lot of bravery. Tell me about that hangman. What is the sacrifice that they feel like they'll have to make? The devil. Whew. The five of cups. For some of them, they don't want to apologize about something. For a lot of them, if this person is like, you know, if they sleep around or they drink a lot or they do drugs or they just have some type of vice and we all got vices right whatever this this energy is this fear or this this thing that they feel so attached to they feel if they come towards you they're gonna have to let go of it like it almost feels like you'll make this person step it up knight of swords and they don't think that they're ready for that knight of swords for your hopes and or fears the death card you want to change. You want to verbalize change. I feel like you're the one that wants to bring the change, especially in regards to your independence with that nine of pentacles. You want to look good. You want to feel good. You want to smell good. Nine of wands, you want to come out on top. You want to be able to have options. You want to be able to live your dream, your fantasy, you know? It's like the nine of pentacles is like reality, right? It's the 3D. And with the seven of cups, it's more of it's more elusive or it's more like fantasy land. And it's like you're wanting to bring that fantasy down to uh, to the real world, whatever that fantasy is that you have about your life or yourself or whatever it is that you want, you know? And I feel like you're the one that wants to go for it or bring the change, but you're attached, you're too attached to this fear or um, it's like you're, you're fearing that bridge, that bridge you have to cross, you fear it. Because A, you don't know how sturdy the bridge is. You don't know what's under the bridge. You don't know what's on the other side. You know what I mean? It's like that. You got the star for your outcome, which is showing up in your near future here. So I feel like this is something to do with this. The Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Okay, tell me more. I'm not going to totally trust it yet. And look at that. Okay. Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Dreams coming true. Whatever you fantasize about, Taurus, whether this is like love, 
sags, you know, uh, a goal of yours. I feel like it's more than just sex or something like that because that star in that Ace of Wands. I mean, this is really about being inspired. Something is, is inspiring you and it's bringing you some type of hope and healing in your life. And it's this is like turning your dreams into reality for lack of a better term. Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is a person you're dealing with, Hermit. I feel like this is your person because they're showing up as the Two of Swords. It might be an opportunity with them. This could be like a peace treaty or this could be... Um, you got somebody over here, though. I don't know what this challenge is. What is this Emperor's... Uh, what is this Emperor's um, intention with Taurus slash Ethel? The Two of Swords, That's that must be your person. Tell me more about that Two of Swords. The Hierophant, that's you. Give me one more. The Sun. For some of you, this individual wants love, but they're afraid. They want something with you romantically, but they're afraid. For others of you, this is somebody that wants to show you yourself, that wants to illuminate something within you, the things that you have been avoiding, the things that you don't, that you haven't or didn't want to see, they want to show you that. And uh, I feel like for some of them, it's coming from a place of pain within themselves by just looking at themselves. Sometimes we trigger insecurities within people. And, you know, everybody does that in one way or another. We see somebody that, you know, maybe we're romantically attracted to, maybe they don't want us, and then we get triggered. Maybe they're prettier than they we think that we're pr they're prettier than we are, that we think that they're, you know, more successful or, or something. It's, you know, what is the basis around this? The Four of Wands. One more. Queen of Pentacles. It's all about you, baby. I feel like this person, like, got it bad for you or something, Taurus. I don't know. Can I get a guided message, please? But you got to loosen your grip on something. I shuffle. And I feel like it's around fear. Give me one more. You got star bathing, light body, crystal grit, grid, transmission, activation. What the hell? Karmic relationships. Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Okay. Life lessons. All right. So you got some type of, I don't know, karmic situation or some type of soulmate situation here with somebody. And it's going to cause conflict, but that conflict is going to create growth, probably within the both of you. Um, I think that their motive is to create growth within you or their motive is to disrupt you in some way. But I feel like it's coming from a place of worry and pain because they're romantically attracted to you or they like you or something like that. Or maybe they want to be your friend. I, I don't know. I feel like it's coming from a place of pain. So it's almost like they're forcing pain on you or forcing you to look at your pain because of the pain that they're feeling. You know, it's like that hurt people hurt people kind of thing. Um... But I feel like here with that star, the Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and that Seven of Cups, it seems like some type of dream is being brought down as your reality. Something that you've fantasized about. Whatever that, what's this fantasy? Let's see, what's this fantasy? What's this Seven of Cups? What's this fantasy that Taurus wants? Eight of Cups, tell me more. Ten of Swords. The Emperor again. Maybe you want to end something. Maybe you want to get the fuck away from this person. Maybe that's the dream because the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups to the Ten of Swords. 
and the emperor at the bottom. Who's this emperor person? This is something that you want. You want something to be closed out. What's the, the Ten of Swords? The Knight of Cups. The Hierophant. There you are. I heard water under the bridge. This bridge that you're trying to cross, whoever this person is, this I don't know who this is to you, but it's, it's like, it's like they're waiting under the bridge or they're waiting on the other side to like, <laughs> they want to stick it to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. They want something with you. I don't know. You got to cross a bridge though. You got to cross a bridge, whatever that means for you. So you got a fantasy coming down into your practical life here. I don't know. Maybe maybe this emperor helps you realize something about yourself. I just see the emperor in the hierophant just staring at me. So I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if this resonated for you because I'm, I'm taken aback. I'm not really sure. So, Taurus, it was an absolute pleasure to read your cards. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit www.bradystarot.com. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up as well as hit the big red subscribe button. I love you. I hope that this helped and I will catch you next time. All right. Peace out.